Hello, welcome. It's your man the Shed NDP in the pub today. There you go. Clearly working. Got my chef lights on, ready to go. So it's day six of my Euros review. So today um, everyone starts to play each other again. So it's the second game starting today. Yesterday we had the last two of the first round where we saw Portugal win 3 0 against Hungary. Hungary played very well and um, for the first 85 minutes they kept them out. Then they conceded and then Ronaldo thought, you know what, I might start to play now. And he got a brace. And then in the evening we had France, Germany, now me personally. It was a game I was looking forward to um, and it sort of disappointed a little bit really. I didn't think either team looked amazing. Um, Dolph's own goal, but there you are. And Bappe showed a few bits of his electrifying pace, especially against Hummels, who, um, let's be fair, at 32, you're not going to keep up with with him. Um, Kante, as usual, looked awesome. But to be fair, there's not really been a standout player so far in the tournament, I would say, apart from Ronaldo. And he, he didn't even play well. Um, really it was just that when it comes to it Ronaldo's the man and there's a reason why he's a five-time Ballon d'Or winner so here's the question if they were to win um, the Euros what does that mean that Ronaldo could go on and win his sixth Ballon d'Or possibly but then I suppose if Argentina were to win it could you also argue that Messi could win it who knows there you are. So, who we got playing today then? So, today we have got Finland against Russia. So, that's a bit like England, Scotland in a couple of days. But I don't think it's quite as important to Russia as it perhaps is to Finland, being right on the border there of the Ukraine to the USSR. Finns certainly are the biggest fans, apparently, of the Russians, going by what I know. We then got um, one of the home nations, Wales. They're taking on Turkey in Azerbaijan. It's a, more of a home game, really, this for Turkey because it's so close to them. There should be a lot of Turks there. Um, so it's going to be tricky for Wales, I think, to qualify from this group now. Have, but they've got a point. And if they could win today, then it should put them through. But they do need to win. They can't afford to lose today because they got Italy in their last game, and that's going to be... A tough ask to beat them and then we've got Italy versus Switzerland as the final game today um, yeah let's think you know Italy was superb uh, against um, Turkey second half they broke them down and they got the three goals Turkey played well in the first half I thought but there you are so yeah that's your opening games done now so we're looking forward to the next round of games Who's your standout team so far? For me, probably Italy. But I did also think Belgium looked good without that two star players. So, you know, that's quite ominous. Obviously, France and Germany both played each other, so that's all counterbalance to see. It's hard to say. You know, you wouldn't expect one or the other to absolutely annihilate the other if they had, mind you you'd be worried because if they're doing that to say Germany or France then you would think oh dear we could be in trouble here anyway there you go there's my quick Euros review from the pub today who doesn't like going to the pub for football personally I don't I'd rather watch it at home on my own TV or go to the ground but there you are anyway no one no one watched yesterday don't really expect anyone to watch today, but there you go. I'm still going to keep doing these because one day I could look back and think, yeah, what a fucking waste of time that was. But there you go. Anyway, Ronaldo yesterday, he became the all-time Euros goal-scoring machine top scorer. Who knew he might get that? Now he's now played in the last 10 tournament on the trot so it's pretty impressive over 20 years there Ronaldo's your man let's hope he doesn't end up coming up against England and if he does let's make sure we mark him and we also stop Bruno Fernandes because he was also pretty damn decent anyway that's been 
your man in a shed, Andy P. Hope you're all well. Please like, subscribe, and share if you probably watching this. Probably won't. Probably just talking to myself as per usual. But there you go. I'm your man in the shed, Andy P. See you, pals.